Hello friends, today the little theory about the inclined plane. So let's imagine that we have an inclined plane on which a body of mass m is located and under the action of some forces moves up. The coefficient of friction is mu and the angle of inclination of the plane to the horizon is alpha. I'm going to draw it now. Suppose we need to find an acceleration, please note that I drew vector quantities without arrows. So we have an inclined plane on which there is a body of mass m. The first thing to do, you need to draw all the forces that act on the body and you need to draw it correctly. If according to the condition of the problem the body is moving upwards, then the friction force should be directed in the opposite direction. So let's look at the forces that I have identified. Note that the forces is a vector quantity and has already drawn them as a, a vector. Now we need to write down Newton's second law in a vector form. I hope you know him. This is the end of physics in the beginning of mathematics. You need to solve the vector equation and this is not too easy to do. Therefore, there is a method for solving the vector equation in the projections. It is necessary to find the projection of the vector on the corresponding axis. I am making another drawing. If the direction of the vector coincides with the direction of the axis, then the projection of the vectors is positive. Otherwise, we must put a minus sign. I hope you know what sine and cosine are, just uh, in case I'll draw a right angle triangle. I will also make a table which uh, vector projection on the select axis. Look at it, you should understand everything that is written here. Now let's write Newton's second law on production for each axis, first for the OX axis, then for the Y axis, and we will get a system of equation. So X and now Y axis. Zero minus
From the second equation, I'll just find the force of the super reaction. have to remember one formula or rather you need to know how the friction force is related to the reaction force of the support. And we will get another system of equations. Now it remains to put the friction force in the first equation and get the answer. So that's all. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching me. Bye bye everyone. Recover the bus each year. Thanks.